Let's continue talking about interval sizes and the four categories that inter interval sizes fall into. This is a way to just keep understanding the geography of the keyboard. So you already know what an octave is, right? A complete cycle of eight letters, seven unique letters, and the repetition of your starting point one cycle above. So for example, C4 up to C5, well here are the seven unique letters as we count alphabetically, C4, D, E, F, G, A, B, right, that's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the first one repeated one complete cycle above, right, so this is C5. So how many total letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the repetition of the first letter, eight. C5. So you guys know what octaves are. We also, in the last lesson, talked about thirds and fourths. For example, from C up to E is one, two, three. We talked about fourths from C up to F, one, two, three, four, C to F. We even mentioned fifths, let's say from G down to C, right? It really doesn't matter which direction you count in, either to the left or to the right, or that is down or up, that doesn't make any difference. As long as you start, you count this as one, and you proceed alphabetically. That's how interval sizes are measured. Always alphabetically, and always including your starting and ending point. So one, two, three, four, five. So obviously we can measure any distance on the keyboard. For example, I could start here. Do you remember what this is called? I'll give you a second. C2, and I could say, what is the interval size from C2 all the way up to middle C or C4? Well, we can count, right? We can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm already tired, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so the interval size of C2 all the way up to C4 is a 15th. All we're doing is counting white keys, right? That's all interval size measures. But you can see that one of the first problems I asked you and asked myself to figure out was how do we know how many keys are on the keyboard, that is specifically how many white keys or naturals are on the keyboard, without doing what we just did to figure out the 15th. That is starting here and going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. you get it, right? It's just too much to go through, and what if I make a mistake? There's got to be a shortcut. So we're going to get there eventually, but first, let's talk about those four interval size categories, okay? So let's begin with the simplest one. I'm going to start on this letter, and I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to count this letter, which is in this case C4, in relation to itself. Well, how many letters is that? Just one. So this is a size of one, which falls into the category of a unison, U-N-I-S-O-N, -S unison. So every letter within the same octave, right, given the same octave designation, remember this octave designation is four, C4, every letter in relation to itself is a unison. F4 in relation to F4, unison. A3 in relation to A3, unison. E5 in relation to E5, unison. You get it. So that's the first interval category, unison. The next one is this, this next largest one, or smallest one, I guess, depending on which way you go. This is C, and if I go up alphabetically to D, this is called a step. So what's a step? It's two letters, or a size of two, where the, where the two letters are alphabetically adjacent, right? What's the next letter up in the alphabet from C? D. What about going to the left or down? Well, C, B, right? Remember, this is C4, this is B3. So these two letters are alphabetically adjacent. There are two of them, and so, right, one, two. So this is also a step. So the second interval size category after the unison is a size of two, which is called a step. Let's practice. What's a step above this key? This key. E. To F. What's a step below this key? E down to D. Let's practice one more time. Uh, here's a letter, D. Bonus points if you remember the octave. 
second octave, right? So D down to C is a step, alphabetically adjacent, and two letters. One, two. That's a step. Let's move on to the next category. The next interval size category is called a skip. These are kind of funny, funny names, right? They almost sound like a game, uh, like a step skip, and maybe the next one is some sort of jump. Well, we'll get there in a moment. So let's talk about skips. A skip is a size of three. For example, from C up to E. And remember, we have to go by step, now that we know that term, or alphabetically, to get from our starting point to our ending point. So if I start here and I want to know the interval size, the measurement of the number of letters from where I begin to where I end, moving alphabetically, this is one, two, three. So this is an example of a skip from C to E. Notice that I skipped one letter in between, the D, right? One, two, three. Uh, how about A? This is A3. What is a skip above and what is a skip below? Well, let's see. A, B, C. One, two, three. So a skip above, A3, is C4. What's a skip below? One, two, three. A3 down to F3. That's a skip below. I think this is pretty obvious. I think you guys are doing fine with this. Let's try one more example all the way at the top of the keyboard. This is in the seventh octave. What letter is that? D. What letter is this? F. That's a skip, right? One, two, three. D, E, F. What's a skip below? Remember, that means to the left. This D7. One, two, three. Three. Remember, for all of these, we're not counting the black keys, so just ignore them for now. They, uh, the black keys are part of another component of measuring intervals, something called interval quality, but we'll get there another time. But for now, we're starting on D7, and I'd like to find a skip below. One, two, three. We know that this is B, right? D, C, B. Which B is this? Is this the seventh B? Nope. This is the last letter in the sixth cycle, so this is B7. I'm sorry, B6. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about something else. I'm sorry about that. This is the last letter of the sixth cycle, so this is B6. That's D7. If you go down, one, two, three, that's a skip. And finally, the last interval size category. Remember, we have unisons, the same letter in the same octave in relation to itself. We have steps, two letters alphabetically adjacent. We have skips, three letters where you skip the letter in between. So C to E, we're skipping D, that's a skip. And finally, the last one, remember earlier, it was a uh, step, skip, and a jump? Well, we're not gonna call it a jump, we're gonna call it a leap, L-E-A-P, a leap. So here's the easy thing about leaps, leaps, are all sizes larger than skips, or larger than size three. So fourths, remember we did C to F, one, two, three, four, that's a skip. Fifths, one, two, three, four, five, a fifth is a skip. Do you remember the one we started with? The octave from C4 to C5, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is a leap. All of these are leaps. Leap, leap. What about from C up to A? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is a sixth a leap? Of course. So remember, leaps are sizes larger than three. So four and above. And that covers the four interval categories that relate every letter to some other letter, whether it's the same letter or a different one. So what are those four categories again? Unisons, C in relation to itself. Steps, C either up the adjacent letter or down. That's a step. Skips, where we count three letters, one, two, three, in either direction, one, two, three. And finally, everything larger than a skip, including, of course, the octave, and that is called a leap. So for example, C down to G, one, two, three, four. That's a leap of a fourth. C down to D. Oh, 
That's definitely a leap. The question is, what's the size of that leap? How many letters, as we count inclusively by step or alphabetically? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from C4 down to D3, is that a leap? Absolutely. So let's try something really quickly, just a very quick test to make sure that you understand these four interval size categories. F4 in relation to itself is a unison. C5 down to C4 is a leap because it's an octave, right? A size of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D3 up to F3 is one, two, three. That's a skip. And finally, B3 down to A3, one, two, is a step. So in order from smallest to largest, we've got unisons, steps, skips, and all the different permutations of fourths and larger which are all called leaps.